Hi everyone, this is Stephanie with Market. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the workflow between an estimate, work order, and invoice from your phone app. To begin, we're going to create a new estimate by going into our estimate menu, pressing the plus sign at the bottom right, and then standard estimate. If you need to create a new customer, select the green arrow to the right where it says select customer, and then the plus sign, and then you can enter in your customer's information and save by pressing the check mark at the upper right corner. If you have customers already entered, you can do select customer, find your customer, and their job location. Now we're going to add line items to either service, material, or product by pressing the black plus sign to the right and choosing our items that we have entered in in our pricing list. If you need to enter in a new item, again, press the plus sign at the bottom and follow the prompts to enter that in. For this example, you can change the quantity and rate at any time per estimate. If you do, make sure that you hit the save in the upper right corner and scroll down. Now you can request a deposit either by percentage or dollar amount. Give the job a name. All of this information is in your estimate settings, so you can change that at any time or in this particular estimate and then you can also upload photos. Once this is done, press the check mark in the upper right to save. Now we have a draft. If your customer is in front of you, you can always request a signature from them, or you can choose to send the estimate right away. So now we have sent our estimate to our customer. Let's say they have contacted us and they want us to know that they want to move forward. So now I can find that estimate, and on their behalf, I'm going to mark it as accepted. Okay. So now that this estimate's been accepted, we can move this into a work order to have it scheduled. So we're going to convert this estimate into a new work order. All of the information from the estimate has been transferred over. We're going to review that hit the save button in the upper right corner and now a work order has been saved. Now we can actually schedule this work to be done. If you press the button in the bottom right corner this will open up the menu for the work orders and we can schedule and assign. The start and end time and date that's when you expect to arrive at the location to begin the job not how long overall you expect the job to take. You can assign an employee or multiple and then done. You can always set colors. If you'd like to choose this work order to repeat on a schedule, you can do repeat and then daily, weekly, or monthly and then choose either a day of the week or how often you want this to repeat. Once you're done, just hit done and that will save. Oops, this one, we don't want this one to repeat. So moving down, customer reminder and time zone. So once you're done, hit schedule. And that work order has now been scheduled for you. And you can choose to add this to a Google Calendar. This is the view of the work order. On the bottom, you have an arrival button, a start button, a pause button, and completed button. These help you track times for your job, the arrival to your dispatch location, um, to your customer's house, Start, paused, and complete will clock the overall time spent on the job. More is additional menu items if you need to make changes on this particular work order. From your schedule, when you start your day, now you can go into schedule, and there are two jobs here that you can look at. For instance, if you hit the routes button, it's going to show you those jobs what times they're scheduled for, and their distance in relationship to each other. If you click on the time, it's going to show you the work order information and then the, uh, give you directions to that location. So once you're at the job and you're using your work order, you can have the arrival button to send a message to your customers letting them know when exactly you'll be there. You can always edit this message before you send. And then when you hit the start, paused, and complete button, you can also choose to notify a customer or not. 
And then when you mark this as completed, it's going to close out the work order for you. So that way you can have this invoiced. So our work order has been completed. Now we're ready to get paid. From here, we'll click more from the bottom right. And then we're going to convert this into an invoice and mark the work order as invoiced. So again, it's pulling all of that information from the work order to our invoice. We're just going to review this and then save at the top right when we're done. If our customer has a check or cash, we can always choose pay now and record payment to enter in what type of payment and how much. Or we can choose to send this to our customer. So this is how you'll use the workflow from your phone app. If you have any questions regarding this, we do have more in-depth tutorials on our website. But I hope this helped you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.